Hello everyone, it is Mr. Stubstep and welcome back to part two of a Vivid Voltage booster box opening. So I did a little bit of organization so we can roll right into the second half of the booster box. So if you guys watched the first part, I had a lot of great pulls as you can see. This only is the, the ultra rare and up pulls. But um, overall, this is a very fun set to open and I imagine it's... It's definitely going to be, because Darkness Ablaze was sold out pretty much everywhere. And I have a feeling Vivid Voltage is going to go through the same issue. Reverse Hollow Coating Energy, that's an uncommon. And a Dialga Hollow. That's pretty sweet. Not bad at all. I'll take those hollows all day, because, I don't know, out of all, I really like Darkness Ablaze. I liked, I liked Sword and Shield base set. Rebel Clash has been the only Sword and Shield set that I truly didn't like. But if I had to rank them, probably so far, I'd put Vivid Voltage on top, then Darkness Ablaze. Oh, I love this Shuckle. I want to get in reverse. Darkness Ablaze, then Sword and Shield base, and then Rebel Clash. Even though I know Rebel Clash brought a lot of competitive cards, I'm not super huge into the TCG. I've played a little bit online, and a few shops, Reverse Holler Whooper, and a Mudsdale. Mudsdale's a non-hollow in this set. Freaking destroying the land. Oh my gosh. Heavy Slam and Mud Bomb are moves in the game. I do like it when the moves that are on the card are the actual moves in the game. It keeps, it keeps the worlds consistent, you know? It's, it's nice. But yeah, the first part, if you want to see those pulls being pulled, they're definitely there. But if you're just here to see the overall pulls, then you can just skip to the end of this video and just see the nice layout of all of them because... I, for one, am looking forward to seeing that layout. <gasps> oh, yeah, baby. Okay. If you guys watched the first part, there were, I said two cards that I wanted in this set. One of them was the Celebi Amazing Rare, and the other was the Jirachi Amazing Rare. And I pulled both in this booster box. Let's get the rare over with so I can take a look at this one. Ooh, Samurai. Yay, look at you. Okay. So, Jirachi. Oh my goodness. So we'll take a close look. So Jirachi kind of has like the, the vortex, like kind of circling around amazing rare type texture. Once again, all the same textures and all the same areas. So the energies, basically all the, the little, the little add-ons on the card, the little details. And then I got that amazing rare rarity. Sweet. Get in this sleeve, Jirachi. And it looks superb. The quality is, let's look at the back. Oh, this is a contender right here. So what I find really interesting is these amazing rares has like the two types. They have like kind of the splatter one, which I don't think looks as good as this like circular vortex one, but they both look good in their own right. Like I think Celebi for some reason looks really good with this style. And then Jirachi looks really good. Like Jirachi summoning some type of power, like a spirit bomb or something, I don't know. But the two cards that I wanted, pulled both of them, fantastic. Fantastic. All right, sit Jirachi down right there. Can't wait to put those in top loaders. That is, oh my goodness. Th thank you guys so much. For those of you that watch and support, like, I just can't thank you guys enough. Because if you guys weren't watching, I probably would not get these pulls. Because anytime I, I open cards by myself, it's just... It's like an addiction, but it, there's no, I guess I don't get as much, I don't get as much good pulls unless I'm, sh you know, sharing this with you guys. So I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Cottony, Aracuda, Reverse Hollow Weedle. Very cute. And a Whimsicott. Nice. I actually think I pulled that one already. So starting to see some doubles, but we're in the second half. So really no complaints. Wish I would have gotten like a, a case of this or I could have, I wish I could have afforded a case of this. But I've got the two amazing rares that I wanted. I know Rayquaza is one of the big ones that, at least like collectible wise and the ones that it's one of the higher priced ones besides the Jirachi. But I really just wanted the Celebi and the, and the Jirachi because they're just so beautiful. Reverse Hollow Wismer, Wismer. it's a common and a Colossal VMAX! Look at that! There is the VMAX for this box. Okay, good sir. Nice. Eruption Shot, G-Max Boulder. Man, the VMAX is like... 
whatever Pokemon did with Sword and Shield, like they're just moving in the right direction. The V cards, some of them look pretty bad, but some of them actually look fairly decent. What the heck is in there? Oh, is that part of him? Oh, that's part of him. So yeah, that is, that's quite nice. So what is that? Three, six, seven hits. So maybe one more hit. Oh, man, maybe this is like gonna be a really good box or maybe the reverse. Maybe those amazing rares don't count towards the total. I'm not sure. I was hoping for at least one secret and or gold and or rainbow card. Dang, so it's looking like the last or this fourth card in each one is kind of getting that little tick. I don't know if it's the way I'm opening the cards, but ooh, League Staff. Very forgetful, but very helpful. Charmeleon, Pinkurchin, Trubbish, Tynamo, Clobopus, Woobat, Talo, Reverse Hollow Duat, and Galarian Perserker, nice. It's not bad. Wow, I am extremely satisfied. I, I think with the with the booster boxes that I've been opening recently, there's just been so much, so much luck and so much goodness. I just, I can't complain. Been so good. Okay, no damage this time. So I don't know. Some of them have it, some of them don't. I'm not really sure. I think overall the printing quality isn't too bad though. I'm no expert. I haven't, you know, been in this game. I've only seriously been collecting again since May. I collected a bunch through pretty much once E-Series started. Ooh, reverse uncommon mag cargo. Beautiful. And, oh, yeah, gold card. This box, okay. Okay, box, okay. Okay. Let me get some sleeves. The gold cards, like, even if it's just, Pokemon tool, the attack, the Pokemon this card is attached to can use any attack from its previous evolutions. You still need the necessary, ooh, that adds so much depth. That is really, really cool, holy crap. Like the gold trainer cards, obviously you want the gold monsters or the gold Pokemon, but these are just, every single time a gold card is pulled, they're just so beautiful, like. There's been gold cards in the past and rainbow cards in the past, but that little extra texture, that extra glitter, like look at all the, the lines and everything is just beautiful. It is very beautiful. Well, all right then. That will probably be the only secret rare that I get in this box. Um, but at least there was one really nice, actually there was two really nice pulls in this half. This was a very well organized box. Whoever, whatever machine or whatever person Put this box together i want to thank you I, I very much appreciate your work aromatic energy all these special energies all these different types galvantula the first card that was shown in this and that was the second card that was shown now this is very similar to the first pack that i opened in the first part actually first hollow croc rock very sassy and quagsire yay i like quagsire i don't this artwork's kind of derpy it's very much to his character but yeah I don't know. I feel like, oh, look. Wooper looking for Quagsire. Look at that. And another code for all the friends at home. Let's see. Fighting Energy. Another Mag Cargo. League Staff. Yeah, this set. Oh, man. I'm very excited. Like always, I'll have the prices in the bottom left. Ooh, Reverse Hollow Rare Mud Bray. A rare common and... Drapion V, oh my goodness, these poles just keep coming. What kind of box is this? Am I, was I looking at the wrong statistics? My goodness, I do like Drapion because he's kind of slept on. I think he's a very interesting Pokemon, but his move set is just, I guess not the greatest. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What's going on here? Are the rest of these just all gonna be duds? I'm, I'm very confused. Pulled four V so far, two amazing rares, a V Max. Secret rare and a full art. I heard the full arts are actually pretty hard to pull from this set for some reason. But I guess it kind of makes sense. Like you'd normally only pull one from a box anyway. But there's just so many rarities now with Pokemon that if it's not that secret rare or whatever, you're just like, okay, we don't need that. Oshawott, Pineco. Is this? Yeah, it's Komia. That's just, I love this artwork. It's just, it's so signature. Reverse hollow common Woobat. And a Terrakion, that is a duplicate. All right. Yeah, so actually gonna be doing a lot of transitioning soon in my life within the next few weeks. I'm gonna be moving from where I, 
currently live to another state. So probably won't, hey, maybe that is me damaging that card. I don't know. Maybe by the way, I'm like squeezing it, but there is gonna be a lot of change and I don't know if I'm gonna be wanting to offload, you know, some of my bulk and some of my extra ultra slash just ultra rares and higher. Cause I do have lots that I make and then I sell them on eBay and I, I think they're reasonably priced. That's a reverse uncommon and Al Creamy. Oh, this is almost like amazing rare. Uh, uh, artwork. It's kind of funny, just kind of how it all focuses on the center and then it's kind of colorful around. Oh, but yeah, I have, I do have an eBay store, which is linked down below. It currently doesn't have anything listed on there, Pokemon card wise, because it's, you know, pretty much a one stop shop for everything that we own that I would like to get offloaded. But Pokemon cards is probably the most frequent thing that goes on there and gets sold because. You know, of course, right now with the way Pokemon is so popular, everyone's buying, selling, you know, it's, it's still on the rise, but I'm just curious to see when it goes back down. And once it goes back down, I can truly finish some sets. Oshawott reverse and a fortress. Oh, nice. I love fortress. I think I had, I definitely had a fortress in either Pokemon Coliseum or XD Gala Darkness. I think it was... I think it was Colosseum that I had him in at first because I, I was like, oh, this is such a cool Pokemon. Then I realized he's literally just a wall. So, you know, normally when you play through Pokemon games, you want to find those Pokemon that can just like sweep through the whole game and you just click A to win, press A to win the whole game. In Fortress, you had to use a little bit more strategy or just explode or self-destruct or whichever move he had. But yeah, it was, it was quite fun. Slugma. Wismer, Reverse Hollow, Rare Lucario. Nice. This is like the first, I guess, regular that's not an Ultra Rare we've gotten in a while. And Zara Aura. Nice. That's actually a wicked artwork for him. I feel like if you're a Zara Aura fan, you'd really like this card. I'm not a huge Zara Aura fan, but I did get the shiny one for that one event, which was nice. All right. I'm getting close to the end here. Appreciate y'all's patience. If you guys have any recommendations for future videos, I try to get my hands on at least one of every new product. I'm obviously not somebody that can get stuff a month early or give you guys a sneak peek or do anything like that, but I'm definitely here. I'm just another person in the community trying to have fun, trying to collect, trying to complete sets, trying to, you know, sell my excess cards to people that need it more than I do. And then I buy off, ooh, Lycanroc, Dusk Form. That's a really cool artwork too. And then I'm definitely willing to buy cards off of people to complete my own sets that they have access of. Ninjask. That's another Komi. I freaking knew it just based off that, the shading and everything. You see the man in the background, Ninjask, basketball. That's a very interesting artwork. This is something that I could probably look at for a while to truly interpret. Looks like we got four packs left. Maybe one more hit and it'll be like a 10 pack or a 10 hit box. That would be pretty wild, honestly. That'd be really neat. All right, this is always when you get a new set and I have like no previous cards and that means I have to input every single card in, which is fun, but it's just very time consuming because I use two apps. Ooh, that's a reverse rare, look at that. Right there, and a Jolteon, okay. I wonder if all the evolutions are in this set. Nice, that's a really nice artwork for Jolteon too. All right, so if you got three packs left, so I use, uh, Poke Collector, which is a really easy one to use. It has like the Japanese sets, the English sets, and it has like all the, the cards that are each of the sets. So it's really easy to kind of, what the heck is getting caught on this? Okay, it's really easy to just keep track of all the cards that you've gotten. Because I also use TCG Player for pricing, but it's not as good as uh, Poke Collector and like seeing when your sets are complete. Now, I'm sure there's other apps out there that keep track of, you know, Hollows, reverse hollows, the regulars, all that stuff. Um, if Poke Collector has that option, I haven't figured it out. But once I collect every card in a set, and then I'm just buying the reverses, reverse holler, Sir Chester's Bath, Uncommon, and a Pikachu V. Nice. I know this is one of the most more, more common V cards in this set, but it is quite nice. I keep putting all of the empty wrappers over my 
my sleeves over here. So it gets harder and harder to get a sleeve. That might be the last hit of the box, which honestly, that it would not, that would not hurt me at all. I'm perfectly content with this box. This has been a fantastic box. Um, but yeah, TCG player for pricing. And I know you can like scan cards and all that stuff, but I normally just input them normally. And then it's just really nice for seeing like the ebb and flow of pricing. Cause I mean, they're essentially like little stocks that go up and down every day, which is, it's really wild to think about it that way. But in, in, in a way it really is reverse uncommon electric and a lichen rock. The final pack of this opening. My least favorite pack art, but you know, maybe at least a hollow rare, maybe. I, Based on all the pulls so far, I doubt it, but who knows? Um, yeah, the Poke, Poke Electra app is really nice. Having that evolution set complete, and then now the master set complete. It's, it's just very satisfying. I've never had a complete set of anything, and it's really cool. After stopping back when the E-Series began, like I think I got a few of like, or I, I finished all the E-Series and then a little bit of the EX era, I got like EX, the few, the first few, and then that's when I s truly stopped collecting. And then I picked back up once Evolutions hit. First Hollow Delmise. And the final pull for this opening, Or Beetle V Max. Are you serious? This box is, this is not a normal box. This cannot be a normal box. This is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. And that is actually really freaking cool. I think Or Beetle is just, like the concept is really cool. Like, you know, a UFO, but I just thought it was kind of like cheesy and lame and I didn't have one on my team or anything like that. But that is so cool with like the colors and everything just sucking up. Is that, what if that was like a mill tank or something down there? That'd be kind of funny if it was like sucking up a cow, abducting a cow, but oh my goodness. That was a great opening. Three, six, nine, 10, 11 hits. So I guess without the amazing rares, it'd be nine hits, which I still think is above average. I think I'll do a little bit more research, but I'm pretty sure that's above average. Wow, just amazing. Well, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and your patience. I know these videos are long. Hopefully you got a few codes or whatever you came for out of these videos and I'll go right into the recap. Thank you. Give me the box.